These are a few of my favorite things. <laughs> hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, it is very special because number one, it is the last day of 12 days of Vlogmas. This is my first time doing any type of Vlogmas videos and I honestly had a lot of fun doing it and I'm glad that I was able to complete this challenge. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to do it because y'all know I don't film videos that often generally. So this was a challenge for me, but I really enjoyed doing it and I really appreciate you guys watching and all the nice comments that you guys have left. The second reason that this is a very special video is because this is the my end of the year favorites video. So this year is gonna be a bit different. Generally, I do a best of beauty. Um, sometimes I've done a best of lifestyle or other type things um but this year it's going to be a little bit different i decided to call it my favorite things because what i'm trying to do this year is just kind of focus on new things that i've gotten um that i that have really stood out to me over the year in past years i've gone through like every beauty category and picked my favorite and i feel like for me now that would be a bit redundant because i don't try as many specifically beauty products as i used to I'm just, I just don't buy as much makeup as I used to, which is a good thing. <laughs> I was buying way too much and I wasn't making enough videos to support that. So, <laughs> so because of that, I just really wanted to stick to a few products that I discovered this year. They might not have come out this year, um, but they are ones that I discovered this year or maybe at the very end of starting at the very end of last year um, and just talk about those products. So in this video, we're going to talk about beauty. We're going to talk about a little bit of lifestyle, luxury, the things that I talk about in all my videos. So if you're interested in seeing what I chose, then just keep watching. So before we get started, I do want to mention that my son is home um, and he's playing with his dad in the living room. So hopefully you guys don't hear him too much. But if you do, just please disregard, you know, this is life. So let's go ahead and get started. So I did have a couple foundations that I wanted to mention and I'm going to start with the one that I'm wearing. And honestly, I think the first time I purchased this, it might have been last year. So this could be a little bit of a cheat already, like with the very first product. <laughs> but this is the Dior Face and Body Foundation. Um, now, I really can't remember when I purchased it, honestly, but I know I purchased a better color for me this year. And that's when I really started wearing this before I had a another color. Well, now I have two, but we'll get into that. When I got my first color, I really didn't wear this foundation too much because it was too dark for me. So I really started wearing it this year. So even if I purchased the first one last year, this is a definitely a 2019 favorite. Um, so the color that I'm wearing today is 4.5 N or 4.5 neutral. And this is a much better shade for me. Um, the shade that I had before is 5W and what I was doing for most of the year was mixing these two but now um, based on my coloring <laughs> I'm just wearing the 4.5 neutral and I think it just looks awesome on me. <laughs> Not to brag or anything but I feel like this foundation just looks very smooth while still looking very natural. It's very easy to do a no makeup makeup look while you can still do a medium to full coverage look with it in my opinion. Maybe not full, full, but for me, for what I need to cover on my face, it looks like full coverage to me, if that makes sense. So, um, I would highly recommend these. I've talked about these so much this year that I, I feel like this is digging it in the ground, honestly. But these have been a favorite for me literally all year long. Now, I know a few of you all have asked me to do a review on this. So leave in the comments down below if that's something you're still interested in. I might do one um, at the beginning of next year if enough people are interested in it. The other foundation that really stood out to me this year and really surprised me is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Foundation. I did do a video on this, so I'll try to link that down below or up in the cards um, in case you wanna see it. But when I bought this foundation, I honestly didn't have that high of a hope for it. <laughs> that sounds bad, but I had never purchased an Urban Decay foundation and I didn't know how it would work out for me but this pleasantly surprised me it's a soft matte finish 
um, you can wear it lightly or you can build it up to a, a full coverage if you need to and I just feel like again it's also very versatile it also lasts all day on me it keeps my oil at bay what without making me look too matte which is what I really like about it so especially in the summer I felt like this was like a go-to for me when I initially discovered it the shade I have here is 71NN, which is the shade that I initially purchased. This is too dark for me now, but I do have a lighter shade that I mix it with um, that I forgot to pull over here, honestly. <laughs> uh, but let me grab it real quick. Okay, the lighter shade I have is 61NN, which is probably a little bit too light for me, but I kind of purposely did that because I knew I needed to mix. Um, if I ever run through both of these, then I will probably just try to find a shade in the middle for me um but yeah i absolutely love these and i would highly recommend getting a sample of this if you've never tried it and just see if you can find your shade in it because i haven't out of all the reviews and stuff i've watched on this besides people with very dry skin i really haven't heard anything bad about this so the next favorite that i want to mention as far as beauty goes is not actually a product for me to show you but it's more so of something that I incorporate into my lifestyle this year or I don't know if that's a thing it's a, a pampering thing that I started doing and that is eyelash extensions so y'all have heard me talk about it I recently just did a video on it but I just feel like eyelash extensions have definitely been my utmost beauty favorite this year they have made my life just easier my beauty life not my real life but <laughs> I just feel like they really help to awaken my face and I feel like I need less makeup while wearing eyelash extensions and I just really like what they do to my eyes <laughs> um, so yeah eyelash extensions have definitely been my number one beauty favorite this year so I did want to mention one eyeshadow palette and honestly I really haven't worn much eyeshadow this year um, this is probably the least amount of eyeshadow I've ever worn. Um, maybe because of my lifestyle change, I don't work as much now and I don't have as much time to do my makeup and I don't really feel the need to wear the eye makeup as much with um, with my lash extensions. But the one, the one eyeshadow palette that I did want to mention is this one from Pat McGrath. And this is the, what is it called? Mothership Sublime Bronze Ambition. And this is one of the six pan palette so this is not even one of the large ones but this is honestly my favorite i have probably how many palettes do i have from her i have all three of these small ones and then i have two of the large ones i think yeah i have two of the large palettes but honestly this is my favorite one um so if you're looking to try pat mcgrath i definitely recommend this one over all the other ones it's just warm bronze brown shades I am wearing it today. Sorry, this mirror is... Let me see if I can hide the mirror. Okay, so that's better. But um, it's just six shades and they are bronze and beautiful, which may seem a bit boring. But honestly, these are the types of shades that I wear. This is the one I've gotten the most use out of. And these are highly pigmented. So you definitely won't see a dent in these from me. <laughs> but you can tell I've used them and I'm, I'm wearing it today. Today I'm wearing this shade here all over my lid. And then I'm wearing this one in the crease. And I just feel like this palette just makes it so easy because it's only six shades. You don't need to think about a lot. You can easily pair any of them together. And I don't, I know it doesn't have like a brow bone highlight in here, but honestly, I hardly ever highlight my brows anyway. <laughs> so that's not a deal for me. Um, but yeah, this has been my favorite eyeshadow palette of the year. The bronzer that took over for me this year is none other than the Fenty Beauty bayon gal <laughs> every single time i get ready to say this name i usually don't even say it because i'm scared that i'm gonna mispronounce it and i know i've been told so many times but at this point i just get anxiety when i see it so i never want to say it but we're gonna try bayon gal i think it's how you say it um but anyway this is the bronzer that i have basically used non-stop since i got it um it honestly looks like my fb is gone you can see so it honestly looks like I'm about to hit pan on it, which would be amazing for me. Um, so yeah, I definitely would have to say this is a, my favorite bronzer of the year. I'm wearing it today. It just gives a nice, like, caramel, 
warm glow to the skin it's a matte bronzer but because of the color on my skin tone i feel like it just really helps to awaken my skin and make it look like i have a tan um so i'm really happy with this purchase i honestly wasn't sure if it was the right color for me when i initially got it but i love it um at this point in the year now that i'm losing my color and it's winter sometimes i don't go for this because i do feel like it gives me more of that like summer tan look um but I can still use it. So yeah, I'm wearing it today and love it. So for lips this year, I have two standout products or two types. Um, the first one is a lipstick and it's the one I'm wearing today. And this is the Gucci Penny Beige Lipstick. It's in this beautiful, gorgeous gold packaging with tons of detail on it. And like I said, I'm wearing it today, but it's just a cool... Um, a cool tone nude for me and it's so comfortable i think that's what makes it stand out about above all my other nude lipsticks is that it's so comfortable no matter if my lips are feeling a bit dry this does not accentuate dryness on them which is a big feat when you're talking about nude lipsticks um so yeah i just feel like it's so easy i've been keeping it in my purse and i just absolutely love this um now i know some of you guys tried this when i mentioned it before and if it didn't work for you as far as the shade goes definitely try a different one or maybe see if you can go in a store and swatch them um because it's just a beautiful formula and honestly this is my first makeup from gucci so my expectations were not too high i used a gift card to purchase this but i am so happy with it and then the other lip products that wowed me this year are lip glosses from miss pat mcgrath and these are expensive so i didn't really want to fall in love with them but i absolutely did my favorite is flesh fantasy which is this a new tone shade and my second favorite is aphrodisiac which is a light pink but it does not look like too light on my skin tone um i what i love about these glosses is that they just they look really nice and shiny on the lips. They're a little thick, but they're not uncomfortable at all. They don't accentuate any dryness on the lips, um, even the nude shade. And I just feel like they just really like amp up any look I'm going for. Uh, they are not completely sheer, but they're not so opaque that it looks like you're wearing a liquid lipstick, if that makes sense. So I really love these. Um, I know they do sell a trio of like the minis, so if you're looking to try the Pat McGrath glosses out, I would recommend going that route to see if you like the formula before you invest in a large one. But I love these. I have, I think, four shades of these now. So that's it for the makeup. I'm going to try to talk about a few other like beauty related things and then we'll get into like fashion type things. First up is more so something I've been doing this year that I really enjoy and that is doing my own gel nails. Um, so the color I'm wearing today is by DNG and this is called Summer Fuji and it's just a neutral tone gray, really light. But to me, the favorite is not this color. The favorite is actually just doing my own gel nails. It saved me so much money. Um, my gels last about a week and a half. So it's less time consuming than to polish my own nails with like regular polish because honestly those chip on me in like a day or two. Um, so I'm glad that I took the chance and learned how to do them myself and no, they're not perfect. When I get them done, they do look better honestly than what I do, but I still get compliments on my nails all the time when I do them myself. It's just that I'm very particular. Like, you know, when you do something yourself, you probably criticize yourself more than anybody else does. So like from far away, I'm sure they look good. <laughs> Up close, they maybe don't look as professional as the nail place, but I didn't pay nail place money. So I'm good with them. I'm really glad that I went ahead and tried it myself. The next thing I want to mention is another type of DIY and that is me doing my own like crochet hair. I've been trying out a lot of different crochet styles, well not a lot, but a few different crochet styles this year and I've really enjoyed trying it and it hasn't always been perfect, like it's, it's never been perfect, but I've enjoyed like actually just doing it myself, getting the satisfaction from trying something and having it look good and people complimenting on me on it and I know I just did it myself and I didn't have to spend a ton of money um, and I just spent a little time. And then the last kind of like beauty related thing I want to mention is fragrance. 
I don't have a favorite fragrance for the year because honestly, I've just been loving fragrance way too much to pick a favorite. But my what I want to share is my favorite. It's just fragrance in general. I really love trying out new fragrances, um, trying to learn what types of fragrances I like better, getting rid of some that maybe didn't really suit my personality as much as others and i just really enjoyed playing with fragrance this year i've always loved fragrance but this year especially i feel like i've kind of rediscovered my love for it all right so that's it for anything beauty related we're gonna do a couple of little fashion items which is not very many um and then we'll be done so first up i have to mention these shoes and i know that i got these shoes at the end of last year end of 2018 but this is the year that I feel like I really like fell in love with them. Um, and I'm not just talking about this particular pair. At this point now, this is my first pair of the Rothy's points. I didn't name the name of the shoe, but <laughs> just Rothy's in general is my favorite uh, for this year. This was the first pair I got and now I have four pairs. So I also have the green camo, I have plain black. And then I have one of the around toe, around toe gray pair as well. But these are still my absolute favorite. Um, I just love the print of them. These are super comfortable. I actually got the black ones to wear to work. And y'all know I stand up all day. But those are my work shoes now. The black and the gray. And so I really, really like these shoes. Would highly recommend them. Some of you all have used my referral link. So thank you for that. Um, my referral link is just... Any, if you buy something from Rothy's, everybody gets a referral link. So it's not like an affiliate code. It's just if you use my referral link, you get $20 off. And I think I get $20 credit for something if I purchase something else on their site. So yeah, I would highly recommend Rothy's. I know they're expensive, but honestly, for the amount of times that I've worn these shoes and for the things that I compare them with, I totally think they're worth it. And I'm not a person who spends a lot of money on shoes. Um, so yeah, well, highly recommend Rothy's. I like the points the best out of the styles they have, but whatever suits your fancy. If you're into flats, you, I'm sure you will find something on there that you like. So as far as luxury goes, I could not pick a favorite handbag of the year. <laughs> I just could not do it. I didn't even want to try. Like, it's, it's kind of hard because at the end of the year, you know, you're more so focused on the things you use at the end of the year, but I really wanted to kind of think about the whole year. So I really couldn't pick one handbag, uh, but I will pick a favorite luxury brand of the year. And that is definitely YSL. As you can probably tell by the video that I just recently did about my YSL collection. I just feel like they've been coming out with a lot of things that I like, and I've gotten quite a few things from them this year and there's stuff on my wish list <laughs> from them that who knows if I'll ever get, but I still like a lot of their stuff. So even the bag that I sold, I really, really liked it. I just felt like I wasn't using it and it just didn't fit my lifestyle, but I haven't had any issues with my YSL stuff. So they've definitely been my favorite brand of the year. Um, I do have another luxury product to show you guys that has been a favorite for me this year, but it's not a handbag. It is the Nice BB and this is a toiletry bag and I got this at the beginning of the year and I love this. It's so beautiful to look at. It's also very functional. I don't take it on every single trip because it kind of depends on like where I'm going and how much I need to pack with me. Um, but definitely road trips because I can just carry this honestly. I don't even put it in my suitcase if I'm going on a road trip. Um, I sit it in the passenger seat next to me if I'm by myself and just look at it. <laughs> but yeah, I just love this thing. It's very functional, but it's also very pretty. And I think it's a piece that I will pass down to my daughter at some point. Um, but yeah, it just looks like traditional Louis Vuitton to me. And I just don't think I'll ever get tired of this. All right, the very last category of this favorites video is going to be food. Uh, so the first food item that I wanted to share is the Built Bar. I know I talked about these before, but honestly, since I discovered these, I felt I feel like I haven't gone without them for one, but I feel like they've allowed me to have a candy bar without eating candy bar calories. <laughs> so if you know me, then you probably know I love chocolate. So all the Built Bars are chocolate based. 
but they are not high calorie. So for instance, this one is my favorite one. It's the salted caramel chocolate. It's 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, 6 grams of fiber, 4 grams of sugar, 4 grams of fat. So it's a protein bar that does not taste like a protein bar. It tastes like a candy bar um, or like a sweet snack. Some of them kind of taste more like a brownie to me, but this one tastes like a candy bar. And I love just throwing these in my bag for when I'm hungry or if I just need a sweet. These are a nice choice. All right, and then the very last product I wanna share with you guys is actually a coffee, and it's the Starbucks Nitro Cold Brew Coffee with or without sweet cream. Generally, I get it with, I prefer it with, but if I'm really trying to be good, I'll just do it plain, and it is still very good. Um, the Nitro Cold Brew, I find, is just a sweeter brew, so I don't need to add anything to it. So if I get the, the one with sweet cream, that's 70 calories for a grande, which is the largest size it comes in, and if I get it without, I think it's only like five calories because it's just coffee, but even without, it just has such a smooth and sweet taste to it. Not sweet like you're putting a bunch of sugar in your drink, but sweet enough for me and it's allowed me to still enjoy my starbucks without like getting 400 and 500 calorie drinks like i used to um because now you know i care about what i'm putting in my body and i do think i should be able to enjoy and indulge when i want to but to do that on an everyday basis i can't do that and expect to maintain my weight loss or lose anymore so that is it for my favorites guys I really enjoyed making this video. I really enjoyed making videos this year. I would really love to hear what some of your favorite things were from this year as well. If you want to leave them down below or if you make videos and you want to leave a link to your video, put it down there in the comments and I'll check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video, which will probably be next year. So I hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Be safe. Bye.